hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it now like i told y'all before when i first started doing the videos i was doing reviews okay and then i started doing both three videos okay following his case because his case was very unique and um i love me some mo3 y'all okay but i noticed one thing about mo3's case and that is the same group of people that um keep showing up over and over and over again every time somebody gets taken out okay this is how i knew that the people that were around Dolph and his whole situation were connected to dallas this is how i knew because i dug so deep down that rabbit hole with mo3 okay and right before mo3 was taken out um you know mo3 was told to come to houston for meetings and those meetings included boosie it included um, Jay Prince now and Jay Prince Jr. And I was like, you know, why is it that every time somebody gets takes out, taken out, you know, they have to have a meeting with Jay Prince, you know? And somebody tried to take Mo3 out in Houston, y'all, at this special meeting that they wanted him to come to. So that was the setup in itself, okay? But somehow, Mo3 made it out of it, okay? Now, when Mo3 came back home to Dallas, um, Jay Prince followed him back home. He was the last person, allegedly, that went to Mo3's house, y'all. He was hounding Mo3 to death, okay? I don't know what he wanted from him, but Mo3 was popping up, putting videos up, saying that, no, nah, I can't do that because I'm a man. So, he it, it was as if somebody was propositioning him to do something that he don't normally do because he liked the ladies okay um but mo3 was so respectful still even though they were disrespecting him okay i have seen jay prince over and over again disrespect over and over again people over and he's always talking about he wants some respect but he's never given any y'all never okay um he can do what he wants. his sons can do what they want to people and um people are supposed to still respect them what is it going to take, y'all? What is it going to take? Demo 3 comes up, you know, taken out on the expressway for the world to see. And then they record the whole thing. Okay? And it looks as if, you know, the police is not really doing their jobs. Because ain't nothing getting done about it. Okay? So, after Mo 3, y'all. Same thing happens to Chicago's Duke 93rd. They invite him to the dice party, y'all. He goes to this dice party. Then they turn around and invite him to the concert. He's a big Boosie fan. So they know he was going to go to the dice, to the um, concert. They know he loved him some Boosie. And all it took was them to get him to that venue. He goes outside to meet and talk with Boosie. Then all of a sudden he's walking allegedly to his car or somebody drove him to his car. Okay? And he gets taken out right by his car. Now, mind you, only people that was big time that was around him was J. Prince Jr. and Boosie. Okay? Which made it look like they had something to do with it. Some say allegedly, but all, all things are pointing toward, you know, the two of them. Okay, y'all? So, this is the second time that somebody... Now, and, and man, you, it's much, much more allegedly from this group of people that bodies have been dropping. But what is it going to take for something to be done? That's my question. Do the rappers and, you know, celebrities and all of this stuff have to get together and, and form a union so that they can, you know, get Jay Prince off their back from trying to, you know, um, extort them? Because this don't make no sense. Then he called himself was you know, jumping in the middle of Kanye West and Drake. And, you know, you could clearly see that there were some threats being thrown Kanye West's way because he looked very nervous in that video that he did 
with Jay Prince. What is it going to take, y'all, to get Jay Prince off of their back and out of their pockets, y'all? Okay. Then we have Takeoff. Invited to a birthday party. Thinking that he's all good because, you know, the people that invited him, they supposed to be mob tash, y'all. And they got connections. And when you're around them, ain't nobody going to touch you. But that was the total opposite, y'all. And at the same time, they touched him. Okay, they did more than touch him. At that same time, it's been so much disrespect thrown toward Takeoff and his family members that it don't make sense after it happened. It was like they're laughing in his face. I do not understand how somebody can do this over and over and over again and continue to get away with it. Just continue to get away with it over and over again. And this is just three that I'm mentioning, y'all. What about all the others? What about the street associates and people that just live in a community that bodies have dropped because of these people and nothing has been done? Ask yourself this question. What is it going to take? This man got on, you know, social media and he pretty much, y'all, Threaten all um what's his name y'all the other member of the Migos okay he threatened him too Offset he threatens Offset ain't nothing been done about it ain't nobody put no complaints in no nothing no nothing no nothing he threatened this man after they took out his family member while they was down there visiting him for their kids birthdays and all of this stuff and it was his birthday too around that time. Because it was actually um, more so Jay Prince's birthday over anybody else's birthday. Because Jay Prince's birthday is on October 31st. So to be honest with you, it was actually Jay Prince's birthday, y'all. Not his son. His son's birthday is the day before his. So to be honest, you know, um, Takeoff got taken out on Jay Prince's birthday, y'all. Okay? Um, make this make sense as to why Jay Prince was doing business with the record label and executives of, you know, the the Migos. Make it make sense. They meet up later and shaking hands and acting like, you know, um, it was a bad drop. This is the way they were acting. They took out the problem because we all know that they were having problems with their record label. Why is the same people that you're having problems with and the same person who you got taken out by Allegedly, his son was in the bathroom washing his hands, all the blood off his hand. Um, how does they have meetings after somebody's taken out and there nobody's no red flags? Ask yourself this question. Now he's coming at NBA Young Boy. He did this before. Okay, I made a video about it before. Allegedly, he had somebody to go and rob in boy, uh, Young Boy NBA. And soon as he robbed this guy, that his boys robbed him, they brought the stuff back to Jay Prince. Because NBA young boy be ignoring him. And ain't got not too much to say to him, but leave me the heck alone. He gets on social media, tells NBA young boy, if you want your stuff, come and get it. And NBA young boy tells him, I got two sets of keys to that car. When I got it, they gave me two sets. I'm not worried about them other sets. Just man your business and leave me alone. That wasn't enough. Because that made him look stupid in itself, y'all. It really did. It made, you know, um, Jay Prince look like a straight up bully. And that, you know, he ain't got nothing else to do but mess with people constantly. Is he going to ever get what he's, he's asking for, y'all? Is anybody going to ever, you know, step up to the plate and handle this is, is the authorities going to handle this or is is is, is there going to be some street justice sooner or later when it comes down to jay prince y'all because this is a mess it doesn't make no sense seriously it don't now if this wasn't enough for him to come at him you know and take have somebody get his car keys allegedly okay and try to get him to come to your house so you can have another meeting with him and probably extort some money out of him too if that wasn't enough, now he's getting on social media doing the same thing he just did to Offset. Now he is threatening NBA Youngboy. Y'all make this make sense. 
you know, the police can't continue to act, turn their head in, in their ear and act like they didn't hear what this guy said to offset. They can't continue to turn their head and ear and act like, you know, what he's saying to these other rappers is not happening. He's getting very bold, y'all. He's getting very bold to the point that he'll jump on social media and send his threats through. When is anybody going to start complaining about this stuff? Because everybody should be complaining about this. All the NBA Youngboy fans should be putting in a complaint about this guy. Just like Boosie gets kicked off of social media all the time, Jay Prince should be kicked off too. Any pages that he has should be taken down because you are abusing social media and you're threatening people. And not just one person, you're going from one person to another. And this is what I tell y'all about people being bold when they get away with stuff. If somebody gets away with doing things, they feel like they can do it over and over and over again. This is how people are. And it has really, truly went to his little, you know, receding hairline, bald and head. Okay, y'all? I don't understand how people can keep letting him get away with this over and over again. I'm, I'm not understanding it. Now, allegedly, NBA Youngboy put out a song. And I guess he threw a little diss towards, you know, Drake. Who the heck do they think Drake is? Nobody cares about Drake like that. Who cares? And it seems so Fruity Pebbles that every time somebody say something about Drake, he comes up to the plate to say, you don't talk about Drake. You leave Drake name out your mouth. You diss. But Drake can talk about whoever he want. He can tease people that he didn't took out or had taken out with his songs, knife talk and all of this stuff. But people are not allowed to say nothing back about Drake. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm starting to wonder about him and Drake. And then he calls Drake his son. Drake is not your son. How is he your son when he was dating your daughter? That don't even sound right. Was she going with her own brother? I mean, what? Something is so sinister about this guy that it doesn't make sense. Now, this is what he just put out. And I think he got a thing for um, NBA Young Boy. I really do. Now, word on the street, this is an old picture that he just put up, y'all. He put up this old picture, and he's sending out a threat to NBA Youngboy. Now, I'm about to show you what he put in this threat, okay? So, it says, Jay Prince reacts to NBA Youngboy name-dropping Drake. Drake is my son. He rolled with me, therefore, I think it's a good idea to make him, to take him off of your enemy list. How about you just mind your business? You're getting too old for this mess. This don't make sense. Leave these kids alone. Who the heck is Drake that somebody can't say his name? Who do y'all think y'all are? I Y'all, I'm so sick of this junk. It don't make no sense. J Prince, respect. <laughs> J Prince, respect. Okay. You can respect him, but he can't respect nobody else. As you all can see, I had a good time kicking it with the homies in Utah. So I guess as he's trying to send a message to NBA Youngboy, okay? But the thing of it is, people are saying this is a old picture. This is what people are saying. On behalf of the little homie Youngboy, the little homie, he taller than you. You the one is the little homie. Um, Me and my brother Birdman were able to have a real conversation face to face. This man is getting on my nerves. I'm just going to say it like it is, y'all. He's getting on my nerves, okay? Um, we talked about the past, the present, and the future. But most importantly, we left each other with a mutual respect moving forward. All of this, you would go all the way to Utah, allegedly, just so you can talk about somebody saying Drake name. Y'all, oh, Lord. Even though I wasn't there for a meeting with Birdman, I must say the Lord works in mysterious ways. Please leave the Lord out of this. Because you're going to get what's coming to you through the Lord, okay? Sooner or later, all right? With that being said, I must address the song where my name and Drake's name were mentioned. He should be happy somebody mentioned his name. It at least keeps him irrelevant. Um... To the little homie, as I said to you privately, 
I say to you publicly that Drake is my son. He rolled with me. Who the cares? Okay. Therefore, I think it's a good idea to take him off your enemy list because the truth of the matter is that we got nothing but love for Dirk and your accomplishments. What the heck do Dirk got to do with this? You talking to him, but then you bring up Dirk. Dirk. Make it make sense, y'all. When I put Drake on that FaceTime call with you, this is so damn petty, y'all. I swear. This irks my nerves on so many levels when he put Drake on a FaceTime call. So he went to Kanye West and then stood there and made Kanye West read a message off of his phone that's saying that him and Drake was, you know, not beefing anymore. OK, now you go and get a FaceTime call and calls Drake and say, oh, I'm, I'm finna get him to apologize to you so he won't talk about you anymore. Hold on. Let me put you on the FaceTime. OK. Y'all make this make sense because this sounds so this sounds like a kindergarten class. How is they respecting this man when he he act like this, y'all? I've never known any street associate in, of power that act like this. What in the world is going on? Street associates have really fell off the map. Half of them running around here with fingernail polish on. The other half is being petty. What happened? Wet my thugs at my real ones, okay? Because this one right here, I don't understand the pettiness of this. Y'all, so he says, let's get back to this, put them on FaceTime with you. My intent was for y'all to move forward, not backwards. Two things we get every day, two things we get every day is a chance and a choice. The choices we make determine our destination. And word on the street, he... He pretty much saying he will take somebody out over Drake. How many threats got to come across social media before authorities say, uh, we got to put a stop to this? How many, y'all? Tell me how many. And due to the fact that NBA Youngboy has millions and millions and millions of fans, why ain't any of the fans putting in a complaint? Even though you be a young boy, he got about that life. He ain't trying to be no snitch. Why won't the fans step forward and say, you know, um, this is a threat. This is a threat. You got he got millions of followers. He don't need but about five hundred thousand to all put in a, th a, a a complaint. And something shall be done. All the offset fans put in a complaint. Say that they are being threatened. Offset cousin or brother or well, whoever it was just got taken out. And then he turned around and threatened him. Now he's threatening NBA young boy. Something has to be done. Bring some attention to him that he want he's begging for. He's begging for somebody to put him out of his misery, y'all. Send him to prison, something. He's begging for it. Why ain't nobody giving it to him? And if you really care about the artists that you all are following and stuff, and you're tired of them being, you know, um, extorted and bullied, why not start talking? Make some phone calls, y'all. Make some calls. But it's, it's about that time, unless y'all are ready for to see him take out some more artists that y'all like. Because this is what he does. And this don't make no sense to me, y'all. That he continues to get away with this over and over and over and over again. And they brush it under the rug. You know, when they took out Duke Darnie Third and then the police got up there and gave a, you know, a speech and, and um, take off. And they got up there and gave a speech and said that we're going to, you know, have a meeting with the, you know, local rappers. I'm, I'm still scratching my head on that one. You mean to tell me you're going to have a meeting with the hitters, allegedly hitters? Are you serious? And this is what you got on the news and said. Respectfully. This is what you got on the news and said. Y'all make this make sense that somebody can keep doing this. Hmm. What do we have? You know, um, you know, a lot of police are paid off. We know this. But what do we get the feds for if they're not doing their job to take off the hardcore criminals that's off the street? And from the looks of it, Mob Taz, the name speaks for itself. 
So what are they going to do about it, y'all? And when are they going to do something about it? How many people has to be taken out and, you know, cold-bloodedly? Because what they did to take off was ridiculous. What they did to do, ridiculous. Mo3, ridiculous. And a host of others, allegedly, y'all. What is it going to take for them to do their jobs? That's all I want to know. Okay, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this little message that he just sent to NBA Youngboy. They cannot wait for NBA Youngboy to get off of house arrest so they can try to take his life. That's what I get from this. They cannot wait for NBA Youngboy to get off house arrest. I don't know if he's off yet or is he about to get off or what. But they can't wait for him to get off house arrest so they can try to take him out. Because they can't control him. You want to control another man's mouth. A man that's married with kids and got his own and doing his own thing. Jay Prince feel that he can tell him what to say, do, when, and where. And since the, he can't and he's not getting anywhere with NBA young boy, this is what he choose to do. Keep coming at him. And over this thing right here, this demonic de devil worshiping thing right here. Are you serious? Drake is a grown man. If Drake can't open up his mouth and rap or sing back to somebody about something, who are you to be in the middle between them of whatever they got going on? It does not make any sense to me. These are two grown men. Go sit your, you know, corroding self down somewhere. And leave these kids alone. Leave them alone. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. This guy talked like he got some screws missing. Like he wrote the yellow bus when he was younger. The, the short one, y'all. The short yellow bus. This is how J. Prince talks to me. And people all, I don't get it. That people in street associations all over the place act like he is the yin and the yang. Y'all, I don't understand it. When is somebody going to take a stand? You know, it got to me. When somebody took out his cousin or nephew or somebody else took out his, one of his nephews. And he was telling, before his nephew gets taken out, he was telling everybody he is a no snitching rule, this, no snitching this, no snitching that. But soon as Jay Prince, nephew gets taken out in the garage, y'all, okay? He started telling everybody to snitch. Tell me who did it. Tell me who did it. Tell me. And he got on social media and, and, and rang the alarm to tell him who did it. Why is it okay for people to snitch sometimes? But when it comes down to him and his family. But you're not allowed to snitch when it comes down to you and yours. Make it make sense, y'all. This double standard mess that he puts out for the world to see the he portrays is a bunch of bull crap. Okay, y'all? And... Uh, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let me know. This guy cannot stand that this young man is making money, making his own money, and ain't got nothing to do with him, and, 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 and he ain't thinking about what he got to say, and he can't stand that he can't get in this man's pockets. That's my thing. I think it's all about money, because if he could get young boy NBA to, um, start um listening to him and, and he can tell him what to say out his mouth and this and that i think that's when he's gonna start coming at him for money because he gonna feel like i got him now if i can get him to say what i want him to say talk how i want him to talk then i can get in them pockets that's what i think it's all about y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this whole situation and what do you all think is gonna take for them to back this guy off of you know People in the industry and period, y'all. What is it going to take for the uh, authorities to do their jobs? Because anybody else, any regular moles would have been arrested right now for sending threats over the internet. And he has done this repeatedly. And nothing is being done. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.